first thing you need to do, the best way to put a name on a boat is vinyl lettering. And this is vinyl letters right here. And you can get them cut. You take them to a, a sign maker and they can cut the lettering and it's not too difficult. Um, the next thing you need to do after you have the letter and you have the name and make sure you get it to the right color. We've done that before where we've ordered uh, white letters for a white boat. That doesn't work well. Is that you need to clean the surface. And you want a nice, as you can see on the side of this boat, a nice, nice clean surface so the letters stick. A little bit of Windex. Wipe it with newspaper. That works well. Or even a very uh, clean white cloth, uh, like a, a, just a paper towel here. Um, and get that nice and clean. That works well and then we'll put the letters on. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, once you get the uh, once you get the, uh, the letters and it cleaned off, then what I do is try to get the boat into into a sunny area, and you can see out here, it's, it's just outside. Move it out so I can get some sunshine uh, as much as we have here. And then I tilt the boat. As you can see, the boat's angled like that, so I have a good workplace. And then I'm just going to put a chair and sit down here, and we'll show you how we put the letters on. And then what I've done is put a little tape mark here, uh, measured, I measured back from the from the bow ball down, and that's approximately three feet. I put a tape piece of tape here so I can tell on both sides where we're going to start the name. These are sticky. You want to be very careful that it doesn't flap in the breeze. Pull them off. This backing, this blue backing here, we won't use. We'll get rid of that in a second. And pull it off. So it's best to have this pre-measured beforehand. What I know is on the resi, you can see this, this uh, line here for the deck. And I know that I can, here's my tape on the other side that I just talked about. If I hold this right here, what I'll try to do is line that up. And you have to realize the eyes are a pretty bad judge of what's level and what's not. So what I'm going to do is put this here and just touch, touch touch, touch. You can see it looks like it's not quite level, but there is a curve here. And then just back up a little bit and get a little bit of perspective on it. And it looks like she's pretty good. Yeah, looks like, okay, I'm happy with that. You happy with that? I'm, I'm happy, happy with that. that. Okay, we're all happy. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is take my little spur. If you can see, it's a nice smooth edge. It's not it's not rigid. Well, it, let's say it's, it's rigid, but it's still there's some flexibility. And just go down gently like this, trying not to get any bubbles, any wrinkles. Hate the wrinkles on the names. So squish it down like this. We like it, okay. And then do a harder and in a couple different directions. What this will do is help the letters adhere to the side of the boat and get them so they're smooth. Okay, that's pretty good there. And now the fun part is, remember I told you this, this paper is sticky, but it's not nearly as sticky as the vinyl letters. So what we need to do is peel it off. The problem is going to come these little, on the serif fonts here, they tend to pull off. So you have to have to scrape with the spreader, get it backwards there. And if you can see that R just wants to come off, but now I got it seated. Once it's down there, it's pretty, it's pretty solid. And they just have to do this all, whoops, see how that one popped out? That's okay. You can go back and just tap it down again. Sometimes it's a little bit of a battle. You can see how she wants to come out. But if, you, if you're nice and positive and speak well to it, there you go. Okay. Tell you what, I'll see you at the end there when we get all the way down to the end. Oops. So you can see we're getting down there. You missed it, but that little period there was a, somewhat of a stinker. But if you could just keep using your spreader and getting these little corners down there. Sometimes they get real ornery. If you wash your boat with soap and water, the soap usually leaves a film. Alcohol is not bad. Denatured alcohol is really good. See how that popped up? That's okay. Go slow. You can get it right back on. And then what we can do is we take our edge, just tap it in lightly just to make sure. 
This is again sticky stuff, so I keep folding it up here. And you can always go back and just tap it in. Now, vinyl makes a good seal, and it takes a little while for it to get solid in there. And on a day like today, where there's it rained this morning, so there's humidity in the air, it's going to take a little bit longer. Okay, there you go. And then you can just look back. What I don't do is resist the temptation to do this. It's it's on there pretty good. I'm just looking for any wrinkles. And it looks pretty good. Okay, there it is. Boat for John A. Wagner. He's done a lot for our program, and that's how you put vinyl letters on a boat. Back. Mike from Max Rigging. Go fast. Oh, by the way, this is a great tool to have. It's a little, it's called a Marson spreader, but it, a scraper. It's going to be great for putting the letters on. I'll show you how to put it on in a second. Let me get rid of that one. All right. So, peel off the, the names. This is sticky material here, and you have to be careful when it doesn't blow.